That's when Booba starts stuttering and continues asking crazy questions. Wait, why, why, so why they keep looking at me like that? Like, they're making me feel a type of you way. Want, you want your moment, right? Huh? You want your moment, right? Wait, wait what you mean moment? you're going to get it. No, no, no. I guarantee nah. you No, not it. like that. I'm just saying, I like. I guarantee you're going to get so it. Look, I swear, on everything I love, so you're going to get I, your moment. All right, so wait. So let me borrow Be your nice. chain. Let me Be borrow your chain. He's Be still nice. trolling. And he's I can't borrow your chain. Yeah, Booba. Okay, now that I'm seeing it. You can borrow your chain? You want to borrow my chain? Yeah, let me let, let me borrow it. Let me let me put on your chain so I can see how it feels. Maynard warned Booba multiple times to chill out. And Literally. you could easily tell he was getting annoyed since Booba was wasting his time. But that's when bad. Booba asked Mayno a I've question about how bad he would whoop him. And that's when things went left yeah, because he does this next. Oh. Right, look, look, quick question, right? Hold on, now look, 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 quick question, right? On a scale of one to ten, right? How badly, right? You think I could like beat your oh, 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 oh. And while doing that, you can hear him say to Booba, didn't I tell you not to play with me? Literally. You have to be careful when playing bad. with some people because everyone doesn't have the same man, sense of humor. You playing games. Here, let's get y'all ladies and gentlemen, kings, queens, how y'all doing, how y'all feeling? Today we got 15 rappers who checked streamers, you know what I'm saying? This is brought to us by Trapologists, of course. Let's get smoothed out, shall we? What we got? What Is y'all twitching? Bro. Get back to twitching I'm before somebody get to twitching. Oh, oh, here we go. Get murked like oh, that. Yeah. Okay. And get loud that. Ah, you oh, did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last right. one. Mondo. Oh, oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. To where? On your live stream. One rapper checked the streamer for dissing his dead brother, and Inali Chopper almost smoked the streamer for stealing his money. These are rappers who check YouTubers and streamers. And we gotta start off with Mayna stealing his money. These are rappers who check YouTubers and streamers. And we gotta start off with Mayno because Mayno is an older rapper. And a YouTuber named Booba tried joking around with Mayno like he could beat him up and take his chain because Booba goes up to Mayno to interview him. Mayno lets Booba know not to say anything crazy since he is already not in the best mood. But Booba starts the interview off by talking crazy since he said his objective is to snatch some chains. I came over here. Like, right now, don't say nothing crazy though. Nah, I'm, 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 look, look, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I came crazy. over here, like, my objective over here today snatch was to, you know what I'm saying, snatch some chains. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I already I tried that. No, I'm saying, I already, really I, tried. I, Booba keeps joking around. He's so Mayno goes on to ask him if he wants his moment since he doesn't chill with all the trolling. That's when Booba starts stuttering and continues asking crazy questions. Wait, why, why, so why they keep looking at me like that? Like they're making me feel a type of you way. Want, you want your moment, right? Huh? You want your moment, right? Wait, what, what you mean you gonna get it. No, 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 no. Guarantee you gonna no, get it. No, not like that. I'm just saying I like. I guarantee you gonna get it. So I look, swear so, on everything I love, so, so, you gonna get I, your moment. All right, so wait. So let me borrow be your nice. chain. Let me be, borrow your chain. He's be still nice. trolling. And he's literally. Yeah, I, Booba, okay. Now that I'm seeing him. borrow your chain? You wanna borrow my chain? Yeah, let me, let, let me borrow it. Let me, let me put on your chain so I can see how it feels. Mayno warned Booba multiple times to chill out. And you could easily tell he was getting annoyed since Booba was wasting his time. But that's when bad. Booba asked Mayno a I question about how bad he would whoop him. And that's when things went left yeah, because he does this next. Oh, right, look, look, quick question, What's right? Up, now Hold we, on, now right, look, look, quick question, right? On a scale of one to ten, right? How badly, right? You think I could like beat your oh, 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 and while doing that, you can hear him say to Booba, didn't I tell you not to play with me? Literally. You have to be careful when playing with some people because everyone doesn't have the same man, sense of humor. And streamer games. Aiden Ross had to learn this the hard way because one day he decided to link Moneybag. up with Moneybag Yo. While they are together, Aiden is freestyling with Zayas and Moneybag and everything Zayas starts off smooth. Crazy. Moneybag is vibing and trying to show Aiden how to freestyle. Just look at my wrist like, boy, ah. Aiden then tries pranking Moneybag, so he says something sus to him during the freestyle. That's when Moneybag looks confused and tells Aiden that he's BSing. So look at my wrist, I got time today. Moneybag, you looking so fine today. What? Yeah, pull up a in the red. I got blue on me. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I don't like your plan. Huh? You bull. Moneybag was dead serious and not rocking with the sus jokes since everyone doesn't like joking that way. So Aiden asks for one more chance and he starts freestyling on another beat a few seconds later. But this time he says some more off the wall stuff to Moneybag later into the freestyle. But Bag lets that one slide. Dead serious. Okay. 
I will do more. I got you. I got you. One more chance. That's all I ask. Try again, bro. I got you. 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 Come on. I didn't mean to say that either, bro. Money bag, you going crazy, sir. I like it. I compliment you because you are killing it. You're gonna have to buy me a purse, but not that's a purse. Wait, stop. Wait, wait, wait. I'm in. Wait, wait, wait. Aiden then asks for one more beat and does the same thing again. And this time, Moneybag swings at him to make him chill out with all of those weird yeah. jokes and walks out since he doesn't play around that way. Give me like, just give me something quick like, uh, come on, come on. Out, Moses, I was a jit. Grab a toothpick, grab it, twist it like it's a. But that ain't nothing, because this next rapper completely went off on the streamer for trying to steal some of his money. One day, Aiden Ross was doing a big stream, and he decided to bring I Show Speed and Izzy Prime on his stream, since he was going to have NLE Choppa and his friends there. During the stream, NLE Choppa and everyone were dancing, since the views on the stream were going crazy. But in the middle of dancing, NLE Choppa and one of his rapper friends from Memphis, named Lil 100, started throwing money on speed to hype things up even more. That's when the streamer Prime started picking the money up off the ground. Ground, and 100 and Choppa tell Prime to put the money down. And they need all that back since it's their money. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, off the rip, if you're gonna be on clown shit, first off, you're throwing money on. I'm pretty sure this thing was underrated at the time. Which is not even. Actually, let me not even make that comment. Look, not only that shit, you're throwing money on niggas for dancing. And then get gay as fuck, nigga. The fuck out of here. So I'm, I'm, now, now the money's mine, nigga. What you want to do about it? Step about that shit. If you, if you really on that shit, get, man, the fuck you throwing shit? It ain't yours no more. For damn sure shit not. Fuck, stupid. Keep your money in the pocket if it's that deep. Clown. <laughs> Niggas going in my pockets and shit? Yeah, it would have been up. I ain't gonna lie. 100 keeps telling Prime to put all his money back on the ground since he had no business picking it up. And that's when things start to get heated because Prime gets mad saying he didn't touch their money. Everyone then starts laughing at Prime while he's getting checked. That's when Prime tells 100 that he's from the south side of Chicago. But 100 lets Prime know he doesn't care where he's from and he doesn't play about his money. Prime then tries saying something else, slick to him, but that's when 100 walks up and checks him again. So Prime sat down and stopped talking for a minute, since he could tell that 100 wasn't playing. After 100 kept talking about it, Prime then said it was nothing but $40. But 100 let him know that it was about the principal, since the main reason he was mad was due to Prime picking up his money off the ground without even knowing him. Hey, yo, $40, Shorty? Hey, I don't give a f what it is. What is the principal? I don't play about my money. Enough, don't even put no my money. Like I said, in $40? And I got a pocket full of money. I don't give a f what it is. Yeah, all right, let's 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 what it is. Let's 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 is y'all twitching? Me, get back to twitching I'm before somebody get to twitching. 100 tells Prime to get back to streaming before someone gets to twitch. I don't know why this thing is talking so, like, I ain't gonna lie. And Prime shows. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Stream cancel. I ain't gonna lie. It, 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 it would have been that. Because nigga, nigga trying to boy me. Like, like little, little bro me, little boy me. Like, it ain't even about that. Because I'm a nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to act on my, my morals, my principles regardless. So it ain't about the fact that, you know what I'm saying, the shit on camera. You not about to talk to me no fucking way. I don't give a fuck. You throwing that money, nigga, you must not fucking want it. The fuck, nigga? Twitching, since he was letting Prime know that he'll really take things there. That's when things heat up even more. Hey, 
Like, you taking something from me? Ain't nobody never took nothing from me in my life. Everyone tries to calm things down since they know 100 is dead serious. Prime eventually leaves due to what 100 did to him. I don't even want to be in a room, shorty, because I'll be fine. Easy. I, we both ain't. I don't, I, I don't know who no people think I am. Thankfully, Prime left before things got too bad because 100 was willing to take it there. But that isn't the only time someone checked Izzy Prime. This In August 2023, Aiden Ross started talking with Charleston White, and fans were rocking with the two. So Aiden planned a trip to Vegas for him and Charleston. Prime was also invited since he and Aiden are close friends. During the trip, Charleston and Prime constantly had small disagreements with each other. But while they were out to eat, that's when things took a turn. Because Prime calls Charleston White Rainbow due to something that he had done in the past. Charleston then asked Prime why is he worried about what he does with his Jimmy. Why are you worried about it though? Prime, oh, we're just asking him. Charleston then what? asks why Prime even jumped in the conversation if Aiden was asking him a question. Yes. This man is just yes. asking me a straight up question. Yes. This yes. come yes. jump in. This yes. come yes. jump in. Yes. This yes. come yes. jump in and go to talking on my about I'm What you talking about my for? What you talking about my for? You. Prime then gets pissed and lets Charleston know that he's not playing with him. Charleston tells Prime that he's not playing with him either, and the two continue arguing for a few more seconds before things take a turn. I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you then. You. Charleston then starts calling Prime all types of names since Prime called him Rainbow. Prime tells Charleston to watch how he talks to him. So Charleston then stands up over Prime, asking him what he is going to do since he wants to act so tough with him. You in the mud, though, no, but you in the oh, mud. Nah, that's all situation. Watch out, nigga. You watch out, what you want me? You. <laughs> you came and jumped. <laughs> you ain't gonna do that. Once Charleston starts checking Prime, he asks Aiden to get Charleston away from him since he didn't want to risk getting maced or poked up by Charleston. I'm on, I'm on spray too. Keep talking. I'm on spray like you going do something. You gonna do a Hey, Charleston then lets Aiden know that he's going to leave the stream since Prime wanted to be the center of attention before he had to do something to Prime. Prime then went live on IG after the situation took place since people were saying he ruined the stream and he said the only reason he didn't touch him was hey, due to him point, having the mace. Rider. You can go watch it. He stood up over me because I called him and he, he like, you a punk. And I was stood up. All I did was stood up then he, he got the mace. When he got the mace, that's a threat. I'm like, bro, I ain't did then, not long after that, fans found out that Aiden and Prime had called the police on Charleston White to have him removed from the hotel since they didn't want Charleston actually harming Prime. But they pressured me by being a snitch. Oh. He been blowing your all day. He been blowing me a European man, been blowing me, then call the police on me. Yeah, Prime and call the police on me. Now, let's move on to Neon, because Neon is a streamer who always acts tough online wow. and talks crazy. Until one day, he ended up running into one of the people he was acting crazy towards and got checked. Because Neon kept doing a disrespectful drill dance named Naughty Bop uh, that makes care. fun of a 14-year-old rapper who got stabbed in a train station in New York. And the dance was created by Naughty Zops to disrespect him. Right, Fans right, told right, Neon right, to right, chill while doing the right. dance multiple times since he isn't from the streets and wow, shouldn't be making fun clear. of the dead. That's oh. when Naughty's brother, Didi Osama, saw a clip of Neon and asked him if he could stop disrespecting his dead brother. But Neon didn't listen. So one day, Didi got Neon's location and tried jumping Neon and what his manager. That? Neon! Neon ended up getting away to avoid getting hurt, but what three months that? after the incident, Neon bumped into Didi and made him apologize for doing the dance, making fun of his dead brother. Listen, listen, I just want to tell you this, baby boy, like, you, like, you don't know where I come from. Like, yeah. you, you not from the streets, baby boy. Like, mm -hmm. you, you was really, like, you was really a nerd, baby boy. You was really a nerd, bro. <laughs> that should be I'm fucking... Look, yeah, I can't take Didi serious with that. That should have me fucking weak. Like, <laughs> so you was really a nerd, like, look at this thing. Neon was scared, and his security Man, guard was on standby, fuck. since they didn't want Didi doing anything to Neon. But he let Neon know he didn't want to hurt him. He just wanted him to apologize, since he's dissing someone he doesn't know. Nigga had boy copy. Nigga fucking apologize to everybody in the fucking book. I want to apologize. 
That shit that's low as shit. Not, that's not right what I did. You gotta apologize to my mom, my fans, my everything. It's oh. not even about that even, my heart. It's just about it's a, you're not even in the streets to be even I didn't, seen, I, brother, It was back in the day. I didn't realize what I was doing, bro. Yo, yo, it's not even, yo, How many of you goofies are, are like this the fucking so, I'm, idiot? I'm nervous, bro. All the shit and that talking. wasn't the only time and Neon got checked by a rapper. But this time, things were way worse. This I'm time, way. Neon was out doing a stream with uh, Ruby Rose. And at some point during the stream, they went to the studio. And while they were in the studio, Inali Chopper pulled up. And this is when things got tense. Chopper was pissed at Neon since some of Neon's fans got Chopper's show canceled and caused him to miss out oh, on money. Really? That's when they cut the cameras off and Chopper lets Neon know hey, that he Ruby. messed up his concert. So he owes him the money he would have made from the show oh, due to yeah. that happening. Hey bro, you still one of my shows, bro. Your show? Yes, no. Wait, what did I do? You was outside or something. I was supposed to be gone. And then they seen that you was on live and they raided the whole hotel and the whole show got canceled. Then you swatted No the way. You got it swatted on God can <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to get paid a bag too, so you look, he owed me some money. And as they were driving away, you could hear Neon's security guard say that one of NLE Chopper's partners up the Draco on Neon's people. Since they were pissed, they lost a lot of money with the show getting canceled. Big black thing that was in the room with you, the heavy one? What the Draco? the Come here, Sneeko. Hey, I can't, I, I didn't say bye. I don't give a you want to get shot with machine gun? And Neon might need to stop linking up with rappers because there's no telling how far some rappers will go if he gets their show canceled or trolls their dead people. But Neon isn't the only streamer who got checked by a rapper for dissing the dead. Because Sneeko was streaming one day oh. and listening oh, to right, the New York Drill. Right. And while rapping the song, he disses a dead person from New York named Jay Rip. So one day, New York Drill rapper C Blue linked up with Aiden Ross. And they were doing a jail stream. Sneeko was also there. So once C Blue noticed Sneeko, he instantly checked him for dissing Jay Rip and made him apologize for speaking on him. I'm gonna need a personal apology. Just apologize, bro. Real He's talking about he his mouth. What about me? For me, person, I got tatted right here. For me, 13 year old me, I lost. For me, to the street. I just need a apology. For me. I didn't do anybody. Yeah, you did. Who? You said um, you were singing a song. For me, you say you're smoking on J Rip type. I already, right after I said that, I apologize. I don't give a fuck. I, I want an apology from clip. you nah, nah, right Thankfully, now. Thankfully, C Blue handled the situation in a mature way and didn't flash yeah. out on Sneeko. But I can't say the same about the next Mad person mature. because YouTuber prankster White Dolomite saw I Boosie while he was shopping in Walmart and tried acting tough with him since he knew that it'll go viral. Go but things now? didn't go as planned for the prankster. Dolomite pulls up on Boosie and his crew and tells Boosie to hand him something off the shelf in a racist way. Boy, I said hand it to me now. Oh, oh okay. Boosie was confused at first since he couldn't believe what was going on and his crew tried telling the prankster to chill out since they really do something to him. Seconds later, one of the dudes with Boosie smacks the prankster up since he was going too far. Dolomite then calls the cops on Boosie and his people and tries getting them arrested really? since they hit him. Dolomite tried pulling the same prank on T.I. and Trey the Truth Goofy. because they were out working on something. Dolomite pulled up on them and started talking to them in a racist manner. Here, stop taking these pictures here, boy, in my building. Hey, what are you guys doing here, boy? You are you? You could tell everyone was confused, and that's when he grabbed the prankster by the neck and let him know that they don't play with any of the racist jokes. What the fuck? Ain't nobody boy, man. Dressed like Bob the Builder. Boy, what you say, boy? No, that boy stuff, bro. Hold on, hold on, man. But that prank, bro, we don't play with the boy with the racist. Trey then lets Dolomite know that he needs to find another way to try and go viral, since the racist stuff is going to end up getting him hurt. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know what you trying to do, go viral. I, I, I'm, I'm, we, we on positive vibe. It's a prank, it's a joke. Look, if this how you trying to go viral, bro, that's hurt out here, man. No, you can't cut it. Hold on, bro, and I ain't nobody's boy, man. <laughs> go about your business, man. It's, What's it's, your name? White Dolomite. This ain't the way to go about it, bro. Now, let's move on to Quando Rondo, wow. because a YouTuber named That Boy Q was in the mall testing people's diamonds to see if they were real. He ran into Quando and wanted to test his chain, but he wanted to pull a camera trick on Quando, so he turned the tester off to make it seem like Quando's chain was fake. And Quando felt some type of way about this. Test my chain. Are you, are you down with that, 
Like, Quando, I know you don't feel a way about that shit. You know what no, you pay. No, it ain't doing that, is it? I'm like, oh, I give a fuck. If I pay for some shit, man, love, bro. I'm picking nah, up. Man. <laughs> No, I'm telling you, I live here. I'll try, I'll try. Huh? The guy lets Quando know that he's trolling. But Quando warns the YouTuber that he could get murked for playing that way. Got that fake <laughs> diamond test. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, but y'all playing get murked like oh, yeah. that. After Quando Corny said that, the YouTuber stopped talking Quando. and agreed with Quando. You could tell his whole energy changed after he was checked for doing that. And you gotta be careful like, with who bro, you invite over to your house. Video. Because they streamer Jack Dorothy decided the to fuck? invite Rich the Kid and some of his people RTK. over to do a rapper-streamer collab. While Rich the Kid wasn't the one who pressed Jack, one of his partners did. Because Rich's partner's girlfriend ended up losing her expensive hoodie in Jack's crib. So Rich the Kid's partner started pressing Jack since he was pissed about his girlfriend losing her $1,000 hoodie. Wait, how the okay, mean? Bro, I was I was watching the whole time. that's my point, so take that. Jack was scared and confused, and Rich the Kid homie forced Jack to leave the room and try to go find the hoodie, since he said if he didn't find it, he was going to slap him. Figure out who did it. Bro, there's no way you're pressing you about the hoodie. There's no way. Figure it out. There's no way. Figure it out. It sounds like you took the hoodie. Yeah. No. I know. You're acting like that. No, I was slapping. Uh, yeah, to be in my shit your bitch oh, like, Things don't stop there either Because after the hoodie situation Rich the Kid took one of Jack Dorothy's friend's car keys And drove off in it to disrespect them Since they were pissed about the missing hoodie And that ain't the only time Jack had problems with the rapper Because one day, he had the Island Boys at his house They were arguing oh, with right, each other And one of the Island Boys swung at Jack Since Jack was oh, talking hard to him now, let's move on to NBA Youngboy's homies D Dog and Who Gang D. Because D Dog and Who Gang D were walking down the street when a YouTuber came up to them with a the camera and said this to them. D Dog and Who Gang D ain't know what was going on. And then the YouTuber says, I like your chain. What that mean? I'm the original chain. I'm the original chain snatcher. All right. I'm a real street. D Dog and Who Gang D started shit. walking off, but the YouTuber started following them. That's oh, yeah, when D Dog let him know he'll smoke him right there in broad daylight. Hey, hey no, no, much love. Much yeah, love. You won't, you won't, you won't get no, much love. Oh, no, God bless you. you, won't, you, won't, you won't Martin Luther King. Bro, I love you, brother. No, I'm not a comedian. And D Dog is the last person a civilian should try and mess with because he was arrested for murder at 14 years old. Not too long ago, he was charged in an attempted murder case because when the cops tried pulling him over, D Dog got into a high speed chase that ended with him crashing and killing his homie, who was in the passenger seat. Police found guns and ski masks in the car, and D Dog's bail was set at an insane $19.7 million after receiving those nine new charges. So it's a good thing the YouTuber Steven oh, Joe goodness. turned around and left when he did because ain't no telling what would have happened if he tried to keep acting tough with him. But that isn't the only time Steven Joe messed with the wrong rapper. In a another video, he ran into Chicago rapper FBG Butter and tried joking around with him. He says to Butter, free Lil J, since he knows Butter doesn't rock with Lil J, and this would make him mad. That's when Butter tells him this. Hey Butter, dog, free Lil J though, hey. Steven then takes things a bit too far and follows Butter into the store, picking at him and asking him about Lil J. Hey Butter, where Lil J at? What the f he had in jail, cool. Why you ain't take him, bring him out, dog? Why you got that man locked up? Why, that, why you got his stuff locked up? Butter asks Steven if he wants to die right then and there, since he wouldn't stop playing with him. And Steven leaves the store, since fans know Butter will really crash out. Hey, are you gonna kill me? But Steven Joe ain't the only oh, one who might like, need to the? chill with these pranks. Because top notch idiots almost got smoked Look for messing with Swifty Blue. Swifty oh, Blue is a rapper it. from LA, known for songs like Cuerno de Chivo and Swap for Swap with Kodak Black. But back in September 2022, a video started going around of a YouTube comedian trying to press Swifty while he was chilling in the parking lot. The YouTuber came up and asked Swifty, Hey, chilling? Hey, bro, uh, where's the nearest subway over here? I'm not from out here, that's why. Uh, Looks like you know a lot of directions, my boy. You trying to get dropped or what? Hey. 
Swifty felt disrespected. So he squared up with the YouTuber and said, What you mean? You look like a type of guy that wants to get dropped, my boy. What the f you mean? You know who I am? I don't care who you are, bro, but the way your image is, it looks like you're trying to get dropped or what? Better back up, bro. Better back up with all that shit. You know who the fuck I am? Where you from, matter of fact? Where you from? Earth. Where you, you, what? I live on Earth. Why are you a hey, chill out, bro? It's a video, it's a video, it's a chill out. Bro. The YouTuber was getting pretty scared since the prank was going too far. And Swifty pulled up his strap. The YouTuber started panicking and told Swifty it was for a video. Thankfully, the YouTuber made it out of the situation without getting popped. But the whole thing could have gone left for him. Not long after the incident, Swifty went on to Cam Capone News and talked about how you never know when someone will try and check you, even if you're in your own hood. People who don't with me don't come try to try me and test me and rob me. You know what I'm saying? I could be the one, you know what I'm saying? Like, getting ran up on type shit. I mean, it, it could happen to anybody. It could happen to anybody, simple as that. And speaking of interviews, one rapper spit on an interviewer for oh. taking up for his op, and another oh, rapper almost tore video. everything all up right, in the interview. All right, shut up, nigga. Shut up. Um, respectfully, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to our biologists, you know? Hey, man, say, streaming niggas, Video niggas, YouTube niggas, all the pranking and, and tomfoolery. Hey, bro, y'all y'all better stand on shit. And when I'm 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 talking about the ones that's on bullshit, cause I seen some some innocent ones here, but for the most part, niggas on bullshit. So, you wanna act a clown? You better stand behind your shit and, and be ready to you know what I'm saying. Be on that, cause y'all niggas, I don't know. But anyways, man. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Link in the description, get in tune. Y'all stay safe, man. Do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Live right. Live the right way. Anyways, y'all take it easy. Good book, 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 book. Good book.